This is a Get Your Geek Establishment. Get Your Geek Stand Up! Right, okay, hi. Um, this is Get Your Geek TV again, and we've got our amazing guest today, the wonderful, amazing, I haven't got any superlatives enough for someone who I'm really inspired by, me and Asa. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Fantastic. Asa, where he came from. See, he ain't got the key to the city. He ain't even got a key to a front door. He thought that London would be pretty, but he soon found out that it was raw. I think I, I reference Wembley and just general things about my upbringing. My poetry just comes from my life experience, yeah. really. Um, so you'll hear a lot about just who I am, where I'm from, what I'm yeah. about in my poetry. Because yeah. I think you should start off writing what you know. That's what I recommend when I do workshops in schools with yeah. young people. I kind of recommend them writing the stuff they know. And then you can go on to like imagine worlds and make things up and stuff. Yeah. But I think with poetry, it's quite personal. Yeah. And so the stuff that really comes through and feels authentic yeah. is the stuff that's coming from straight from your heart, sure. really. Self-expression. Yeah. So please let my ancestors rest in peace not turning their graves in Jamaican plantations or the watery graves of the slave trade thrown overboard into the middle passage just for insurance claims so my poem, I'm Nobody's Nigger, yeah. was kind of inspired by several different things. Obviously, following the case of Stephen Lawrence's yeah. murder yeah. and, you know, the injustice and the eventual partial justice that yeah. his family got for him. Um, and then there'd been a couple documentaries on, on TV, one about Public Enemy and um, a few other things that are just kind of something about the slave trade, probably, I yeah. you know, although we... It hurts to relive all this stuff, yeah. like, you know, it's, it's, it's not too far in the past and it affects our present. So um, it really just was all bubbling away and then um, I just kind of, I just, I just, just had to say it. You know, I, I think the song Niggas in Paris had come out and everyone was singing it. Yeah. And, um, I mean, that song doesn't use that word loads, but it's in the title. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so that was kind of hearing white people start to use the word yeah. and kids that I teach in schools yeah. were using the word. I just was like, let me just say how I feel about it. Yeah. And it seems a lot of people agreed with how I felt. So I was glad Very I put awesome. it out there. I'm just really fascinated with like some of the amazing work that you've been doing. I've heard about um, a spoken word education program yeah, yeah. Um, and how you got into schools as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just really intrigued about what your, your belief about how to get into young people to see spoken word as a form of self-expression in yeah. a, a cool way to be able to express yourself. Um, um, your well, it is, and I mean, given that there's so many great examples of poets that I can show them, you mm. know, YouTube videos or poets I can invite into schools with me um, to do projects. and. Funnily enough, a lot of young people have already heard about a lot of poets. Spoken word is really like getting out there, so um, they know what it's about. So when you come in and say, this is what I do, um, they might not have heard of me, but they'll, they'll know what spoken word is. Yeah. So that gives you a good way in. And yeah. like, if you can perform for them, rather than just giving them a poem to read on the page, you can perform it for them. You make it live, you make it exciting, make it dynamic. And then they're like, I want to do what you just yeah. did. How do I do that? I can speak. He said, give me some money. And I said, no. I said, I know where that money's gonna go. He said, please, bruv, I'm hungry. I said, I'll buy you a sandwich then. He said, no, I don't want that. I said, all right, then I'll, I'll get you some chicken and chips. He said, no, I'm a vegetarian. I said, all right, then I'll, I'll buy you a salad. He said, look, I just want the money, yeah? I just want the money. I said, well, I just want many things, but beggars can't be choosers. He said, no, I ain't a beggar, bruv. I ain't a beggar. And I said, well, then I beg you, bro, just move on. There's a key little question that we always ask all um, um, artists okay. that come and perform. Yeah. Um, a lot of the sort of ghetto geeks out there, they may have naturally... Hold on, can you define ghetto geeks for me? Oh, do you want me to define it, right? Yeah. From the dictionary, you uh, say ghetto yeah. is a poor, neglected area of a city. Okay. A geek is a knowledgeable, obsessive enthusiast. Okay, cool. So you've combined those words, yeah, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. something quite witty, it's pretty. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah, ghetto yeah. geeks. I like it. So my question is, what's the difference, from your opinion, between rap and poetry? Um, no music. <laughs> Just that, isn't it? Yeah, really. It is, isn't it? Yeah. This is the, like, rap Simple. acapella. Is this, yeah, it is yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, I mean, rap is a real incredible skill. Mm. Um, and, um, but 
both of us, rap, rappers and poets, we're writers first and foremost, yes. we have to write this stuff. Um, of, you know, freestyle as well. But that's kind of another genre of, of yeah. its own, which I really admire, that yeah. people can freestyle. But I just think, yeah, there's not a huge difference. And I don't think there's, we, we should make too much time for like dividing things up. We're all, you know, doing amazing things with words and inspiring people, hopefully. Oh, Dean, I could actually speak to you forever. <laughs> I'm so sorry we've been cut for time. My pleasure. Though. Thank you so much. Thank this you. is Ghetto Geek TV. Ghetto Geeks, stand up. writing um, poetry when my mum died and that was the first poem I wrote. Um, no, that's what I recommend when I do workshops with young people, I kind of recommend them to write the stuff they know. And then you can go on to like imagine worlds and make things up and stuff. But I think with poetry it's quite personal.